Hello YouTube. Hello library. Welcome to my review of Garuda Linux Lite edition with the Cinnamon desktop. Today we will look at the distribution itself, the Garuda website, as well as their forum, wiki, and frequently asked questions section. So here's the website. Very nice website. Really pretty. Uh, very artistic. Well organized. Easy to navigate. I mean, how many good things can you say about a, a website? As you can see, Garuda is offered with many different desktop environments, including KDE, GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, LXQT, Deepin, Wayfire. There's a couple of window manager versions. There's even a bare bones edition if you want to build it yourself. So pretty much any desktop environment you want. Um, this is an Arch-based distribution, but you don't have to install it like Arch. It uses the Calamaries installer, so um, it shouldn't be such a challenge to build it. Like it says, we make the install process simple by using the Calamaries installer, which is easy to use and makes the installation process fast, and that is all true. Unleash the beauty, yes. It is beautifully themed and decorated right out of the box, so... Um, their, their artistic skills are impressive, the, the developers of this distribution. So if you don't know how to decorate a desktop yourself, this one is a great place to start. Uses the ButterFS or the BTRFS file system by default. So uh, ButterFS is a modern copy on write file system for Linux aimed at implementing advanced features while also focusing on fault tolerance, repair, and easy administration. So ButterFS. One of the features of Garuda is that it takes an automatic snapshot every time you update the system. So on every update, Garuda takes a snapshot of itself and then saves it, and you can access them from the boot menu, from the, the Grub boot menu. So if you break your system with an update, you can just roll back to the last good snapshot. So it takes some of the hazard out of using a rolling release distro. All right, here is their um, wiki. And it's got a lot of good information here to help you get started and to help you troubleshoot. So sort of the user's manual for um, Garuda. Here's the frequently asked questions. So if you're having a troubleshooting problem or an installation problem or a printer problem or whatever, whatever your issue is, you should probably check the FAQ first before you go on the forum. Garuda does use the chaotic AUR, the chaotic Arch user repository by default, which has newer packages than the regular Arch user repository. So you get newer, more up-to-date software. And then here is the development team. They introduced themselves on the web page. And there's, there's a whole crew of these guys. It's not just one guy, you know, building Garuda in his mom's basement or something. There's a whole development team here, and they tell you who they are and where they're from. And you have access to these gentlemen on the forum. I've noticed their forum is very active, and somebody from the development team answers virtually every post and helps with every troubleshooting problem. So you do have access to um, the developers and maintainers of the distro if you're having trouble with the distro. So that's a pretty good deal. This is the place where you select which desktop you want. I'm gonna choose Cinnamon. And if you click the little panel down at the bottom, it gives you all the sources where you can get the ISO file and they all work. So it doesn't really matter which source you choose, just pick your favorite. I use SourceForge. I'm just gonna save the ISO file. And then I have burned it to a USB stick and booted from the USB stick. So let's do that. Here's the USB stick boot and here's the screen you get. So this is the live environment. I haven't installed Garuda yet. And this is what it looks like on first boot from a live environment on a USB stick. Oh, very nice. And here's the help page. I'm just going to click install Garuda. 
And here's the Calamari's installer. It defaults to American English, but many languages are supported. So if you're not an English speaker, if that's not your first language, don't worry about it. There's a lot of languages available. Next, and then you have to choose your time zone. I am in the central time zone in the US, so I will choose Chicago, which is also in the central time zone. Next, US English keyboard by default. And then there's many installation options. I am just going to replace the partition that I already have on my disk. There it is. That blue partition is already prepared. So I'm going to install Garuda on that. So it's about 50 gigabytes in round numbers, which is plenty. You have to give yourself and your computer a name. So I'm just going to use Garuda. I know that's pretty imaginative, huh? And then, uh, I'm going to enter my top secret encrypted password here. And I'm going to use the same password for the administrator account, which you should never do, but I'm going to do it. And I get to review what I'm about to do. I get one more chance to change my mind. Oh, too late. I did it. I'm committed now. So the installer will run. And really the install process for me only took a few minutes. It wasn't bad but I'm gonna kind of edit this out. Nobody wants to sit here and watch the installer run, even if it is just a few minutes. So I will jump forward to, um, to the end of the process. And there we go after the first boot after in installation. So I need to put in my secret password and we're in, there you go. So now this is Garuda after installation. And there's the help screen again. It's got a lot of goodies, but I'm not going to use it. So let me close that. So let's have a look around. I like those icons, the kind of neon sign effect. Very interesting. There's the terminal. And because it's an arch distribution, it uses... Um, Pac-Man, so I'm going to use sudo, not studio, sudo Pac-Man and SYU. So this is the, this is the command for an update. So I'm going to update the thing using terminal, which is a good idea. Anytime you, you know, do a new installation, one of your first actions should be to go ahead and update it. So I'm updating it. Yes. Proceed with installation. Yes. And here it goes. I'm not going to make you wait for this either because this took several minutes. There we go. We're updated. It took a few minutes because this was the first update after an install. There's also a GUI updater. If you don't want to use uh, um, the terminal, if you're scared of the command line, then you can update Garuda from here the same way, just, just as efficiently and just using a GUI. So I'm going to catch this one little update here, whatever that package is. And every time you do an update, Garuda will save a snapshot of your image. So if you break your system with one of these updates, you can just, on a reboot, you can roll back to an earlier snapshot before you did the destructive update. So it's a pretty good deal. And I'm going to change my wallpaper. Garuda has some really nice wallpapers. This one, for example, I think it's gorgeous. It's like a little work of art on my desktop. So I'm going to keep that wallpaper. I like it. All right, so let's check out that automatic snapshot thing and see if that's true. So I'm going to do a restart. And there is the grub menu. And notice I have a, an option on there for Garuda Linux snapshots. So if my system fails to start, I can just choose one of these snapshots until I find one that'll start. So this would be a pre-update snapshot. Pretty cool. 
So this does away with some of the risk of using a rolling release and doing frequent updates. Because if you lock yourself out of your system, if you break it, you can just roll back to one of these snapshots. But I didn't break the system, so we're going to go back into Garuda again. In fact, it's been very stable for me. I haven't had any trouble or any breakage or any problems really with Garuda. So let's look, look around a little bit, see what there is to see. Even though this is a light edition, it still has quite a few packages, but I don't see VLC. They have MPV Media Player. I like VLC Media Player. So I'm going to have to do something about that. But there is a lot of stuff here. So this is the light edition. There's also ultimate editions of Garuda, which have even more packages in them. But this is the light edition, and it is already well provisioned with um, packages by default. Lots of stuff. Some of these packages I don't recognize, and I'm, I'm sure I'll never use them. And Garuda kind of prides themselves on their toolkits. They have toolkits for all kinds of things, like uh, network management, uh, system management, uh, customization. So there's all kinds of um, toolboxes in Garuda for anything you might want to do with it. Here is the PAMAC GUI type um, package installer. And uh, like I said, VLC is my favorite media player, so let's find it. Oh, there it is. It comes right up. VLC media player. Just click install and apply. There's a bunch of dependencies here, and I'm not sure which ones are important, so I'm just going to choose all of them. I'll just check every box because I'm not sure which of these dependencies are important and which ones are not important. So I'll just choose them all cover all my bases. Choose it. And then I have to enter my top secret password. And it should start running the install any moment. Now there it goes. I just have to click apply one more time. And now it's doing its thing. And there's VLC down at the bottom of the list, VLC Media Player. I also notice in graphics, they don't have color paint. And color paint is my favorite um, drawing program. It's kind of like paintbrush for Linux. So let's fetch that. Sudo Pac-Man uppercase S. And then the package name is just color paint. So this is how to fetch a package from Pac-Man using the terminal. Proceed with installation? Yes, I will. And there it goes. See? Easy peasy. Don't be afraid of the terminal. Okay, what else do we have here? Administration. Garuda Gamer. Let's look at this is one of the toolkits I told you about. Garuda styles itself as the distribution for gamers and gaming. So if you're a video gamer, this is your toolbox. I am not a video gamer. I don't play games. So a lot of these I'm, tools, I'm not even sure what they are. I recognize some of them, but a lot of the stuff I've never heard of. But if you're a gamer, you know what all that stuff is. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my quickie tour of Garuda Linux Lite Cinnamon Edition. It's a really beautiful distribution, but it's more than just a distribution. This is a fully developed program. It's got the distribution itself with lots of different desktops. It's got the uh, website, which is a, a work of art on its own. And it's got the, um, the forum and the wiki and the frequently asked questions. So there's plenty of support there to help all the Garuda users keep their systems working. So I think this is an up and coming Arch-based distribution, and uh, I think you're going to love it. So, uh, hope you have a good 2021, and thanks for watching. Peace.